Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the video monitors. One of the most exciting things that happens at a university is the event of discovery. The Division of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources, driven by that sense of discovery, has always sought scientific, viable solutions to society's problems. We aspire to be at the leading edge of research and of teaching. We see a bright orange future for Dasner that includes a new facility that matches the history and tradition of our faculty, staff, and students in their innovation and discovery. Join us and help OSU advance our claim on innovative research, teaching, and extension. Together, we'll embark on new frontiers. Good afternoon and welcome. It's so good to see such a large group here gathered to help us celebrate an historic day for Oklahoma State University. It's an historic day for our mission, our land grant mission of teaching research and extension in the way we serve Oklahoma's agriculture, food, and natural resource industries. From the time I first visited Oklahoma and this university, I've really been struck by the tremendous support we have from the state and from our alumni the people we serve. It's heartening to have a state and an alumni group uh, that values the land grant mission, the one that we've been given since the 1890s. This is a state and an alumni group that supports our efforts to strengthen the economy of Oklahoma, an economy that's so dependent on our land, air, and water resources. Today, we're celebrating the goodwill that binds our college with the people of this state and our alumni. Over the past four years, we have studied and planned for the long-term facility needs for our division students, faculty, and staff. We have addressed some of those with tremendous support from uh, alumni and friends, including the Charles and Linda Klein Equine Teaching Center, the Ferguson Family Dairy Center, the Oklahoma Foundation Seed Stocks Building, the Greenhouse Learning Center, and the newest, the Animal Nutrition and Physiology Center. We've made improvements at the Botanic Garden, at the Animal Science Building, at the Noble Research Center, at the Henry Bellman Research Center, and in Agricultural Hall. And now we're ready for this capstone project, New Frontiers. I'm pleased to announce that today we launch a public campaign to raise funds in support of OSU Agriculture and the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources, a campaign that will transform the way we teach conduct research, and carry out our extension programs. We are proud of the three legs of the land grant mission reflected in the triangle image in our campaign materials. Those three missions are what ensure that we are responsive to the needs of Oklahomans. New Frontiers is intended to equip us with facilities and endowed funds that can ensure our efforts remain at the leading edge of research and translation of research findings into academic degrees and extension programs for the public. We must ensure that future students and faculty have the resources they need to be national and international leaders in agriculture, food, and natural resource sciences. We must ensure we are doing our part to help alleviate hunger, restore and improve natural systems, and ensure opportunities for people to have a healthy life. The central identity of our building, of our division, is our building, Agricultural Hall. This building has served us well since 1957, when the North Wing was completed and first occupied. As the South Wing and the East Wing were added in the late 1950s and 1960s, they enhanced agriculture's prominence here, but they were built when we still used mechanical calculators and not computers, and the goal to go to the moon was an audacious dream. Although we were beginning to understand the significance of DNA as the genetic code, we did not have the technology to break that code and use that information to help us understand how that information could help us improve agricultural production and resource stewardship. Not surprisingly, a building that was suitable for scientific research and instruction in 1957 is no longer suitable 
for technology and safety standards of the 21st century. A building with classrooms equipped for lectures, a sage on the stage who recited their insights to students who dutifully recorded them in their notes, it's not suitable for today's teaching methods that engage students in learning methods that require their active participation and turn the instructor into a co-learner with the students. A building that expected students to come into the building only to attend class is not suitable for a college that aspires to be an academic home for students where they can engage with their peers and with their faculty mentors in formal and informal settings. A building that assumed students would go to a converted dairy barn for refreshments <laughs> has become sterile since that dairy barn was demolished. And that brings us to today. Our new Frontiers campaign envisions a state-of-the-art teaching, research, and extension facility north of the Henry Bellman building on the east side of Monroe Street. The $100 million new facility will feature an academic pavilion, a student services pavilion, and a laboratory pavilion. Much like it, OSU's Endeavor Laboratory and the new facility for the Spears School of Business, the new building will prioritize experiential learning in flexible laboratories and classrooms, collaborative and interdisciplinary research that engages students, and a strong sense of community through strategically designed gathering places. The new Frontiers campaign will secure $50 million in private and corporate gifts to help bring this critically important, innovative, and transformative facility online. And thanks to some of you in this room, I can announce that we are nearly two-thirds of the way towards that goal. Before I turn it over to President Hargis, I want to welcome some distinguished guests. We have several legislators here, Senator Tom Duggar, Representative Trish Ransom, Representative John Talley, and Representative Trey Caldwell. Our university leaders here include Senior Vice President and Provost Gary Sandifer, Senior Vice President and General Counsel Gary Clark, Senior Vice President Joe Weaver, Director of Athletics Mike Holder, Vice President for Research Kenneth Sewell, and others. We also have Kirk Jewell, the president of the OSU Foundation, for a few more months. <laughs> and Blair Atkinson, president of the OSU Alumni Association and future president of the OSU Foundation. And my wife, Rhonda Kuhn. <laughs> you. And now it's an honor to introduce our leader, President Burns Hargis. Tom. Kayleen and Larry, we're glad you showed up. <laughs> it would have been a real bummer. And whoever uh, moved this inside, I want to put it in line for a race. So I want to thank you all for, <laughs> thank you all for that. Uh, okay. This, uh, this really is a special day for Oklahoma State University and especially our College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources. And uh, we're very honored to have a great OSU alum with us today, Governor Stitt. We appreciate you joining us. We love welcoming you back home anytime we can. Uh, bring money next time, though. <laughs> and we have several members of the uh, Oklahoma. Uh, well, uh, first, I want to blame Arthur, our Secretary of Agriculture, who's here and also serves on the Board of Regents. And then we have as a Regents here Lou Watkins, Calvin Anthony, Tucker Link. Rick Davis, and I think the CEO of the A&M Regents, Jason Ramsey, is here as well. We appreciate that. And of course, we have the first cowgirl of Oklahoma State University, Ann Hargis. That's a sure applause line. Well, agriculture is in, just etched in the DNA of Oklahoma State University. And uh, this, uh, this division of agricultural sciences and natural resources serves our entire state and in many cases the world. Uh, so we're very proud of this opportunity to make this announcement today. It's very exciting and therefore it's fitting that the chief executive of the state of Oklahoma joins us. Governor Stitt, would you please come forward? Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much. Uh, as a proud graduate of Oklahoma State, it's good to be here with you back in Stillwater. Always love coming back. And this week was especially special when I got the news, like all of you, that Chuba is coming back. <laughs> Go Pokes. So I'm honored to be here uh, uh, really to uh, unveil this, uh, this new Frontiers campaign that's going to be benefit this university and all the students and faculty for uh, years to come and our, our great state of Oklahoma. So agriculture, it's the second largest industry uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, we have a robust and diverse farm economy all across every 77, all 77 of our counties uh, with over 78,000 farms located in Oklahoma. Uh, it really contributes to our economy. There's over $42 billion in direct economic activity related to this agricultural industry. Uh, agriculture industry in our state also employs over 300,000 Oklahomans uh, that are truly feeding and fueling the world. Uh, the success and rich history of agriculture in our state is due a lot, in large part, uh, to this institution and what it's mean means to our state, uh, the natural resources uh, that this this uh, uh, university contributes to. So I commend the university for the innovation, for the teaching, the research, uh, and the extension efforts uh, that have been critical to the growth of our state. And OSU really sets the pace uh, in research for our entire state. Um, you know, OSU has the Carnegie classification for very high research activity designation, uh, which denotes the top tier of US, uh, US research in, uh, institutions. In total, agriculture in our, in our uh, um, accounts for more than 40% of the research done at the university and 85% of the revenue generated uh, at OSU for patent and protected intellectual property originates right here uh, in the College of Ag. Uh, so the research um, directly influences what crops, what varieties, what breeds are grown in our state, how they're grown, how our livestock are cared for, how food safety and water resources are protected, how innovative developments uh, such as the unmanned aerial system, which if you haven't seen that uh, part of our university, it's just an amazing part. Uh, they're also using that for agriculture and environmental uh, monitoring uh, and how ultim ultimately it's helping Oklahomans take care of our land. Uh, so I just want to thank all of the, uh, the folks that are here today. It takes all of us that are so involved in this university and our great state uh, to move it forward. Um, so proud to say that uh, multiple members of my administration uh, are members or are graduates of Oklahoma State. That's not by coincidence. Um, and uh, one of them is sitting here today. I could not be more proud of uh, our Secretary of Agriculture, Blaine Arthur, uh, who's also a graduate here. Uh, her entrepreneurial spirit, her passion uh, for the agricultural community, for mentoring uh, youth in ag, uh, her heart for uh, this field is truly inspiring. And she is leading the state, especially the Department of Ag, and uh, with a vision of encouraging the next generation of Oklahoma farmers and ranchers. Uh, she's, she's leading with a vision to improve rural broadband and uh, also increasing ag processing. Uh, she's got this Made in Oklahoma initiative that's really starting to take, uh, uh, starting to uh, gain some traction. So we're so proud of, of uh, Blaine Arthur and it's my privilege now to invite her to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary of Agriculture, Blaine Arthur. Well, thank you very much, Governor. Thank you for the kind comments. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Great to see lots of orange in the audience, but also lots of familiar faces. Um, I typically don't uh, read from a script, uh, but this is an extra special day, so I didn't think talking on the fly was probably the best strategy. Um, it's been several decades uh, since I had the opportunity to walk through Ag Hall as a student. As I reflected back on my 
first memory of Ag Hall, it was an eighth grade Chickasha FFA member. I was participating in the floriculture career development event and my teammates and I were not so patiently waiting on the front steps of Ag Hall for the results for the state contest to be posted. Now Governor, if anyone had come to me then as an eighth grade Grady County farm kid and told me that I would be standing here today providing comments to this crowd in this capacity, I would have told them they were off their rocker. <laughs> so thank you for the continued opportunity to work for you and represent our ag producers and for your support of all of our farmers and ranchers. Thank you very much, Governor. Aside from my years as an FFA student, I have many cherished memories as a student here on campus. I vividly remember my first day of college and thinking I was one of almost 20,000 students on campus and would I see a single person that I knew. Well, much to my relief, I had my second class of the day in Ag Hall and many familiar faces welcomed me, asked me how my day was going, did I need anything, and most importantly, did I know where my next class was? The people in Ag Hall care about one another, and especially the success of students. I remember promising myself at the beginning of each semester that I could make it up all four flights of stairs in Ag Hall without being out of breath by the end of the semester. Because if you've ridden the elevator, you know why we take the stairs, right? I also remember sitting in Dr. Anderson's ag marketing class, looking around and thinking, is this guy for real? But he is and he was. I also remember very challenging discussions in my ag policy class that really reframed my perspective on production agriculture here in Oklahoma and in the United States. So many of my favorite college memories revolve around my professors, advisors, and fellow classmates that called Ag Hall home. Sitting around the dinner table last night, kind of preparing for today, um, everyone had come in from the barn, we're sitting at the table, and I asked my husband why we all feel like Ag Hall is so special to us. My kids chimed in, as they often do, I've got an 11-year-old and a 7-year-old, and my son said, well, it's special because all the cattle kids go to class there, so that must be the coolest place to hang out on campus. <laughs> now, my daughter said it's special. She goes, because, Mom, when I go there, all these people know my name. <laughs> so my husband thought for a minute. He was a student here as well um, in the College of Ag, and he said, I think it's special because it feels like home. Even years later, it still feels like home. I thought for a minute, I certainly agreed with him, and I said, Jared, it, it's more than that even. And he said, well, what could be more than feeling like home? And so he thought for a second, and he kind of drummed his fingers on the table, and he said, okay, for you, he said, it's like your grandmother's house with fresh baked bread and her homemade sand plum jelly. And that's a perfect analogy for me on what Ag Hall is. When I think about a new Ag Hall, I think about the tremendous opportunities for students in our land-grant institution. I look forward to students having a new place to call home, and hopefully, one day, my two children will also call Ag Hall home. It's really not an option at our house. I haven't told them that yet, but that's, that's the way it goes. I look for Ag Hall to be a place with cutting-edge technology and our top-tier faculty and staff guiding students on a path to success. I believe that every student in the College of Ag and every OSU Ag alum is passionate about this university, but even more passionate about their Ag degree. An Ag degree from Oklahoma State is a golden ticket to career opportunities and preparing students to be leaders and change makers in their communities. I can't tell you how many times I've heard business owners, and not just agribusiness owners, say that they will hire an ag kid over a non-ag applicant every day of the week. We have something very special here at Oklahoma State in our ag program. 
We expect success and turn out top tier students. We have some of the best students in the world who will go out and change the face of agriculture, but also the business world. Their knowledge, expertise, leadership skills, and work ethic will help drive our economies and position Oklahoma to be a top 10 state. We need to provide those students a facility that allows them to reach their potential and capitalize on their strengths. I want to finish my comments with some lyrics that most of you are probably familiar with that sum up my thoughts on Ag Hall and what it is and should be for students, faculty, staff, and alums. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see the troubles are all the same. You wanna be where everybody knows your name. Thank you very much. Thanks, Blaine. That was fantastic. Sand plum jelly, you just can't beat it. Well, OSU, as all of you know, is experiencing historic growth, uh, transformation, uh, and it's really because of the vision and the generosity of a lot of wonderful donors uh, that have stepped up. Uh, we're reaching new levels of success in a number of places with facilities like the Boone Pickens Stadium, the Big Nice Center for the Performing Arts, Endeavor Lab Building, the New Spear School of Business, the Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music, and many more, including this beautiful facility right here. Uh, today, uh, I'm excited to add some names to people like uh, Pickens, McKnight, Greenwoods, uh, and those names are Kayleen and Larry Ferguson. Would you all please join me up on stage? Not to the crescendo yet. <laughs> Sit down. Many of you know the tremendous uh, support that Kayleen and, well, let me just say, many of you may not know that uh, this couple met at the, over at the dairy barn uh, here at Oklahoma State University. Kayleen's dad ran it, didn't he? Didn't he worked you? there. He worked there, and, and Larry ran it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they have transformed the dairy barn and uh, it, they really have revitalized it, and we really appreciate that. It's known as the Ferguson Family uh, Dairy uh, Facility. Uh, the, um, the lead gift like this doesn't come along very often. In fact, I don't remember it ever coming along. <laughs> and uh, that's what's so special about uh, this couple. Uh, so today, the impact on the College of Agriculture and natural resources is going to soar even more than it already has. Uh, I had the distinct pleasure in announcing that Kayleen and Larry through the Ferguson Family Foundation have committed a total of $50 million to this project. Okay, there's more to come. There's more to come here. Uh, the the uh, gift will be split actually between the New Frontiers building of the new uh, Ag Facility, Ag Research Center, uh, and an endowment to support the entire College of Agriculture, which is very special. Uh, the commitment is among the largest gifts OSU has received in its hundred, almost 130 year history. So that makes it historic. Uh, and to recognize their leadership and vision, we're going to be asking the Board of Regents next week, and I kind of think how, what I, I know what's going to happen, <laughs> to approve the renaming of the College of Agriculture and Sciences and Natural Resources to the Ferguson College of Agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, Kayleen and Ray.
Well, thank, thank you, President. President. It's uh, really uh, Kay and I's honor to uh, be up here, and uh, thank you for um, many of my family and uh, friends uh, are here, and we appreciate that so much. Um, you know, Kay and I always dream about things, and uh, one of the th fortunate things that uh, Shriver did for us was take us uh, from uh, our little spot in Oklahoma to throughout the world. And we got to see a lot of uh, people that are hungry. And uh, that kind of touched us, that we want to be able to impact people uh, throughout the world and uh, help feed the world. And I really believe that Oklahoma State can be a center point, can be a light in feeding the people of the world, and uh, it'll make a tremendous difference. Uh, you know, uh, Amber asked me yesterday about um, our name, and I, I have seven grandkids sitting here, and um, that uh, our name is important, and uh, we want them to be able to see in the future, uh, generations from now, that they have a responsibility for feeding the world and that their, their name is important. You know, uh, my, my mom and dad were Oklahomans and I guess my great-great-grandpa was the first one born in Oklahoma. And uh, uh, I was asked about what's special about Oklahomans and uh, I, I think about they are so hardworking, they're so honest, and they're people of faith. And in today's world, sometimes that's uh, resented. But I've got to say, I represent that. And I, I think it's an honor to be a hardworking, uh, honest, and a uh, person of faith. So uh, thank you. So I'll just add to that the importance of family. And everyone in this room is part of the Oklahoma State family. And um, yes, it may have our name on the building, but you are the agricultural family, and we'd like you to join us in this venture for, for the future, inspiring others, furthering research, being a student here, learning, being a professor here and learning. And um, we just want to encourage you. We're behind you. And I'm very thankful that my three sons and their family are part of this family today, and we're just thankful for each one of you, family and friends, as we embark on a new adventure together. Thank you. I remember about a year and a half ago listening to Larry and Kay back when we dedicated the Ferguson Family Dairy Center. And I heard Larry say uh, that, that same commitment, that mission uh, that, that he expressed here today. Now they've been very generous with us, certainly financially. Their total giving to OSU now comes to $55 million. But they've also been generous with us with that sense of mission. And so I remember this fall when Larry shared with me what they wanted to do in helping us with this campaign. I said, Larry, I want to make sure we capture that sense of mission that you've given us. Because I feel that they've endowed us not only with financial resources, but they've also endowed us with a focus on our mission, which is to feed the people of the world. And so here we are, OSU Agriculture, the Ferguson College of Agriculture, we are all called to feed the world, and it's a, a tremendous mission that we have, and it's a tremendous honor to have the support of the Ferguson family in reaching uh, our goals towards that, so, so that mission. So thank you, Kay, Larry, and the Ferguson family for sharing that mission with us. Without this gift, we'd be years away from accomplishing our vision for this new building. Uh, their generosity has compelled others to invest at significant levels. Uh, it's convinced President Hargis that we can actually do this. It's pr convinced President Jewell and other university leaders that we really can raise private funds to support major capital improvements for academic units. They have changed OSU, and they've changed the way we think about 
our alumni, and our friends. I'd like to recognize some of the other early investors, those we recognize as cornerstone donors who have invested $1 million or more in the project. They include Larry and Kayleen, John and Virginia Grundike, an anonymous family gift, Dr. Gary, Dr. Barry Pollard and PNK Equipment, and Wynn and Kay Ingersoll. We also uh, look forward to growing this list of cornerstone donors and would like to appreciate a number of other major gift donors to the project to date who are listed here. We still have work to do with a need to raise about $20 million more to have a successful campaign. I want to express my deep appreciation for the work of the OSU Foundation. The team there has been extremely helpful in helping us achieve the success that we have so far. And you will be hearing from Heidi Williams and the rest of the Ag team, as well as the other development officers through a number of, of uh, uh, opportunities, on-campus tours, uh, regional events, uh, and online communications. Uh, and I'll be with them every step of the way. With their help, with President Hargis' assistance, I'm hopeful, hopeful that we'll complete this campaign in a timely way. Studio architects are currently working with our faculty and staff, actually currently, like right now, on the design phase of, of this project. Uh, the faculty have been tremendously engaged, and I, I really appreciate that because it means that our goal of having this help us transform the way we teach, the way we conduct research, is more likely to succeed because the ones who are going to be doing it are the ones who are at the ground floor helping to make it a reality. We, we will have our design plans done by the spring of 2021, and we will break ground then. We will move into the new facility in the fall of 2023. So the freshman students who show up this fall as seniors will go into that hall at the beginning of their senior year. I hope to see many of you join us in this campaign in whatever way you can. Uh, help us celebrate the many milestones along the way for now, we will invite you to enjoy the refreshments. Take special joy in eating cheese. Okay? It's, a, it's really important to us and the Schreiber uh, community. Uh, uh, we, we hope you'll take advantage of some opportunities to tour Ag Hall if you'd like to see how much it's changed since you were here. It hasn't, but you can go see that. You can go see that. And so we have students uh, by the east exits there who uh, can take you on those tours. Um, and the, uh, uh, maybe you'll, you'll get an opportunity to meet with some of the faculty as well who use those uh, facilities and how they kind of have to jury rig things in order to make them work. Uh, so uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to share this great news with you. We deeply appreciate the investment of the Ferguson family and the others who have invested in this project, and we really look forward to seeing it come to completion. Thank you all. <laughs>